Today we are going to discuss how to restore your Odoo database from backup. Odoo is an open ERP system that uses PostgreSQL as a database backend and regularly backing up your database will protect you from data loss and it is very useful for everyone who has an Odoo installation. So Odoo database can be restored in many ways that is we can take backup from the database and restore the database from front end and back uh, terminal section that is from command line itself you can take the backup and you can restore the database so first of all let us discuss how to restore your database from front end for that you have to make sure that you have set a master password for setting a master password from front end you can see set master password button here i have already given a created a master password that is why this window have come so i have give the old master password and set a new password so having set master password you have to set that if it is not set then a message will be there in this portion so after setting a master password you have to take a backup of the database for which you have taking the we are you are restoring the database so let us take a backup of this database And you have to give the master password name, master password. Then you can see the database name, backup format. So you can see two type of backup format that is zip, it, which includes a file store and the second one PG dump custom format without file store. So in the first case, you can, you have three files that is uh, three sections. That is in the first case, it's a file store, which contains static files stored on disk like images and contains attachments and in the second file that is dump.sql which contains postgresql backup that is all data and manifest.json file it contains list of modules then db name postgresql version order version and all so let us take a backup of zip okay as zip so i'm taking backup so I can save this zip file, okay, which can be used later if you are restoring the database. So I have saved it, saved it. So we have taken a back backup of this database. Now, what we are going to do is restoring the database. So let us click this button restore, give the master password. Then you have to browse the file, okay. You have to browse the zip folder, zip file. Okay, then you can give, you can give a name, database name. So I'm creating a new one that is new database and uh, by restoring the old database that is Odo latest. So then next thing is this database might have mode or copied. So in order to avoid conflicts that is if you are giving same name there may be conflicts. So Odo needs to know if this database were, was moved or copied. If you don't know the answer you can give it as this database is a copy. So I'm just uh, just giving this database a copy and continue and if it is if that database that is auto latest was deleted then you can give it was new and you can create a new database from that by restoring the old database so i'm here i'm just creating a copy you can continue click continue So you can see 
a new database Odoo 13 new. This was created by restoring the database Odoo latest. So in the same way, you can take the backup of backup and uh, then restore the database in by if you have deleted the database you can if you have a zip file that is zip file of the database you can by restoring you can have the database now let us see how we can restore your database by using command line So for that, first we have to use this command sudo su. First of all, it is clear. It. Okay. So let us create a database by restoring uh, the database for which we have taken a backup from the command line itself. So for that, first of all, you have to give sudo su postgres, and when you hit that, you can create a database from here that create db oh, sorry create db minus o space we have to give the username that is owner name after that the database name then hit enter okay. now by using the dumb.sql file we are restoring a database so for that you have to give the command psql space the database name And okay. dumb dot sq. So you have to make sure that you have extracted the zip file. That is the file you have uh, downloaded. While in the zip file, there are three files. You know, file store. Then dumb.sql and manifest.js1 file. So by using the dumb.sql, we are restoring that database. So we can see these things are copied to the database. That is the by using dumb.sql, the database is restoring. After this operation, you can see a new database will be created.
so you can see the operation is finished now let us refresh it okay here you can see a new database my new order 13 db is created this, this database is a name that we have given in the command line and by restoring this database you have created a new database so this is how we can restore a database by from command line and currently we have done it by restoring the download sql uh, from the backup that is zip file that we have downloaded by using the second option that is the you can see two option so we have chosen the first option so if you have chosen this option that is you have taken a backup of the database by choosing this option without file store then you will get a dump file okay so if you have a dump file then we can also restore the database from the command line using that dump file for that we have a different command let us see how we can do that now let us take a backup of another db okay Okay, I'm taking a backup of, back of this DB. And choosing the second option. So we will get them file. I'm taking a backup. Okay, I'm saving the file. Now what we have to do is given the give the command so you can see the extension that is it is dot dumb now in the command line you have to give different comments here i'm creating a new db Okay, now what I'm doing is that I'm using different command pg underscore restore hyphen d and giving the database name. My latest DB Udo 13, and after that, what I have to do is that I have to give the name of the dump file. So, Let us paste the name of the dump file dot dump. So that's how we restore our databases from backup file. So if you re refresh, you can see a new DB is created, my latest DB Odo 13 that was created by 
restoring this odo latest uh, by using command line so in this way in this way you can restore your databases from backup file if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any odo implementation or customization in your business drop your request to info@cybrosis.com